In this tutorial, we'll be creating this elemental text reveal in After Effects. Now, pay attention to some of the cool details here. So we basically got the element revealing the text first, and then the main text layer comes in. And for this, we're going to be using Saber, which is a free plugin. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and download it. So let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to create a new solid for my Saber layer and add Saber to it. I'm going to go into Customize Core, select Text Layer and select my text. I'll be using one of the presets here. So if we go down here, we got something called Zap and it's a pretty cool preset for lighting effects. So I'm going to lower the settings here, maybe the core size to 1, the glow intensity to 25, and this should be enough. Now I don't want too much bleeding here on my text, so I'll go into the distortion, and this would be my glow distortion, and I'll just lower it to maybe 15, just so it doesn't bleed out of my edges here too much. Next, let's go ahead and set the starting size to 80 and the end size to maybe 30. So this way we don't just have a linear stroke and there's like a taper effect using these two settings. Next, I'll go into Flicker and I'm going to set it to maybe 15 and enable mask randomization. So what that does on a text layer is basically each letter will flicker on its own and not just the whole text at once, which will add to our effect. Let's go to the beginning of our comp and I'll set a keyframe for the mask evolution. Go to about here, and I will give it four full evolutions. You can set this to minus four depending on the direction you want it to go through. So if we play this back, we can see that the stroke is animated over the text. We can see the end and star size here, and this is looking quite nice. So this is it for the Saber animation. Let's go ahead and animate our text. Now the cool thing about Saber is it reacts to most text animations. So let's go into our text layer and add an opacity animator. I'll set it to zero. Go into my range selector and animate the offset from zero to a hundred. Let's say about here. So we got this fading in effect. Now, if I select my animator one, control D to duplicate it, go to the animator two now, range selector, advanced, I'll set the mode from add to subtract. Now, if I select these two keyframes and offset them by a couple of frames, you can see that we are revealing the text layer, sort of like a strobe effect, basically one and a half letters at a time, and then it's also fading out. Now, if we go back into Sable layer here and enable it, it's not yet reacting to it. Now, a solution for this would go down here into render settings, and I'll set the alpha mode to mask core. So now it's reacting to the text animator we created. Now I'm going to set the composite settings here to transparent so we can see through it. And also maybe set my saber layer to screen. Let's collapse this and I'm going to create another text layer. So it basically reveals the main text. So let's duplicate this and I'll rename this one to main. And this one would be my control. Let me change the color here just so we can visually see it. Now I'll go to the main layer and delete animator 2. So it basically only reveals the text. And make sure under your Sable layer that you have the control layer selected. As you can see, I have it set to main still. So just control. And let's go to the main layer under the animator 1 here, advanced. And I'll change it from square to ramp up just so we have sort of like a smooth reveal. And we need to update the offset, set it to minus 100. So basically a quick recap of what we've created here is a base text just fading in. So it's going to be the final reveal. Then we've got the control layer, which is a letter at a time. And this control layer tells Saber where to apply the effect. So hopefully this makes sense and wasn't too fast or complicated. So if I disable this one and play it together, you can see that it basically reveals like we want to, but we just need to play with the timing. So let's go to the control layer, hit U to bring up the keyframes, move them closer here, and maybe delay this one just a tiny bit. Now my main layer, 
let's delay this by a lot more. So first the lightning reveals it and then the main text. So this looks pretty good. I'm just gonna delay this just a bit more so we see more lightning. This timing is completely up to you. I just wanna nail a certain point here. Right now, in order to have it sort of like a template so we don't have to change each text layer at a time and so on, I'll simply go into these ones and on my second layer, I'm gonna grab the pick whip from my source text and parent it to my main one. Let's collapse these and I'll also parent the layer itself to the main one. So basically what that does is if we change the main text, the saber effect will also react to it because the control layer is changing as well. Same for moving it around if you move it around the comp. So this is just nice to have it sort of like a template if you want to change the text later on. Now, another cool thing about this is if we simply go into a different preset, for example, fire, we'll just set it lower so the core size is going to be five, lower the intensity, and now we got the same type of effect, but with a fire element. So let's just go back to the lightning one for now. And if you do have Deep Glow, which is another paid plugin, but it's simply creating a nicer glow, it's just gonna add a bit to our saber effect here, especially on the thicker points. I'm just gonna lower it by a lot here. You don't have to use it, it's just giving it a really nice touch. So now I'm just gonna create a background. Let's make it black. I'll duplicate it. We'll call this one color and I can add a four color gradient. I'll make something dark and blue. And then I also got this stock footage of some clouds, which I'm going to drop on top and let's set it to maybe overlay. So we just got it on the nice background matching our theme. And lastly, I just want to add a bit of a gradient to my main text layer. So I'll right click it, layer styles and add a gradient overlay. Go down here, and on my style, I like to use reflected, increasing the scale, and lower the opacity to maybe 50. Just so we have this sort of nice gradient and not just a blank white text. Then we'll select all of my layers, Control shift c to pre-compose it, and add some color correction, so maybe simple curves here. some on the red channels. And to add the sort of a flickering effect that you've seen in the beginning, I'm gonna grab an exposure effect and set a keyframe here, hit U to bring it up, set it to one, copy the first frame. So I'm basically just creating a bright up kind of effect here. I do like to use exposure more because it gives a nicer vibrant color and paste it a couple of times in my frame. So then we have this sort of a lightning effect, which adds to the atmosphere. And finally, we'll add some shake. So you can either use a plugin for it or just type in wiggle and you'll find wiggle position. Then I'll set the amount to something like 12 and the speed to 0.5, for example. Just adds a nice shake to our footage here and make sure you don't have any black bars here. Just scale up your frame. So 105. And this is how you can create this type of effect. I hope you found the tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.